modern five core model T291 AM FM shortwave radio. This is currently available for sale on eBay, about $25. I saw this on a recent V Westlife video, and he did, he was searching for uh, a truly analog radio, not just a radio that looked analog, but was actually digital and had the digital stepped tuning with a fake analog dial, and he came up with this. And as I watched the video, all I could keep thinking is, I want to see the inside of that. I want to see the inside of that. I love looking at electronics from other countries. You know, and there's not that many that really were familiar with. I mean, there's entire continents that never seem to produced, have produced anything of their own. I mean, we're all familiar with Japan and... Russia and the Soviet radios and German stuff and American stuff, but made in India, I got to see the inside of this. Uh, and I know I have a lot of viewers in India, so hello to my Indian viewers. And just a side note, I think one of my all-time favorite V Westlife videos is where he goes after uh, Legacy Box. Because all you hear on the radio out here are Legacy Box commercials. Make in India. I don't know if that's like a nationalist thing where they're saying India should make more stuff. But anyway, it's uh, ISO certified. And high range antenna portable receiver, high sensitivity multiband radio. Like I said, currently available $25. Took it uh, a couple days to get here. Let's see what we can do to open this. I'll try and include a link to the V Westlife video that inspired this video. And like I said, he did a really good review of it, but I want to see the inside. I wonder if that's a date code, 319. First thing we need to do is sniff it. Kind of almost smells like paint, maybe. Now, he uh, had commented on some of the fit and finish. I'm really not interested in the initial fit and finish because it's a portable radio. It's going to get trashed. Made in India. That is something I have never seen on a piece of electronic gear. It's like we need a Phillips screwdriver. You know, it is, a, it is a little bit gimmicky and flashy for what, you know, what I'm used to. It's got these little fake gold feet and it's got all this kind of branding nonsense on it. And it's colorful and it's flashy and it's got the chrome dust cap on the speaker. ISO 9000 certification. What do we have? I 
what is floating around inside this thing? Uh, let me get a screwdriver. How's that go? Don't turn it on, just take it apart. Never seen something made in India. Um, you know, is it going to be an integrated circuit based thing? Is it going to be all old school um, IF cans? Well, that's not impressive. Anyway, I'm, uh, this is, this is probably more a, uh, the result of the U.S. Postal Service than anything else. So I'll just won't respond to that. It appears to be built on a single chip, and it does use, of course, the old school analog tuning condenser. Uh, the chip is very hard to read. It appears to be a Sony CXA1619, and I don't know if that is legit Sony or counterfeit. I tried to wipe it off to make it easier to read and it appeared that I was wiping off uh, the ink with the number. The capacitors are Sancon brand. It does have a really big speaker in it and it's interesting that it says four inch. I thought the United States was the only country using the stupid imperial system left. I, I would figure they'd put that in millimeters or centimeters. Um, uh, these are the filters. One transistor, one IC. It looks like it was dropped at some point, and this was broken, and this was broken off, and the corner of the board here cracked out. Cracked out, yeah, cracked out. I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try and put this back. Does it go like this, then? Let's see if we can get that in there. I'm really not sure how that happened because in order to get that locked back in, well, unless this one was there, but I had to break the wires, so now we got to solder the wires back on. I'll pull the board off and take a look underneath. Nothing hidden on the bottom except one capacitor, but here's a look at the board. I do like this bit of engineering right here where you don't have to remove the dial cord to remove the board. That is something I wish old American radios did. That's actually kind of really cool. I soldered the AM antenna wires back on, and what I'll do is I'll just glue this down uh, after I finish the video. We'll test the radio out. So, you know, looking at it, it's 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 different, um, which is refreshing. I do like to see things built in other countries. I really do. Uh, the CXA. It's a very common chip. CXA 1691BS uh, all-in-one AM FM radio chip. You can look that up. That's There's thousands of websites that 
show you how to make a radio with that. Uh, the volume control power switch, you know, looks of decent quality. I like that the tuning string has actual little pulley rollers here, and it's not just dragging across fixed plastic like something GE would do. I like the the way the board's removable and it disengages from the pulley and you don't have to deal with trying to take the string off. Uh, the speaker looks of decent quality. The case, uh, you know, I guess the first impression is really kind of bad when you open it up and, you know, plastic pieces and an antenna fall out of it. But I'm looking past that. Um, the case is actually fairly heavy duty I would you know it's fairly thick I don't know what this is ABS maybe uh, I think we probably saw the weak points if you were to drop it so um, let's see how it performs I don't know if this is actually relevant to the name but you can see it actually does have five cores in it one two three four five so I don't know if that's what the name 5 core refers to. You know, it's just refreshing to see something from one of the other BRICS nations. So here we go. We'll take a look at the milliamps here. So you can watch the current draw. Pull the antenna up. Oh, well, that, that was not happening. Well... So what happened here? So the antenna came apart and these little things came out. Okay, well I kind of bodged the antenna back together. I was trying to stick it back in and the tip broke off of it, so. The roll count is wrong about. Okay, I want to say, in, in seven years, I still have your loyal followers. I'd probably get three a month. I make quite a few myself. Well, there's really poor selectivity, as you can hear. The stations are running right over the top of each other. Celebrating with the family and grandchildren and great-grandchildren uh, a happy special Easter season and sending a little picture. Ooh, economical. Jobs. Labor expert and former state employment chief Michael Burnick telling us that about 20% of the country's claims come from us right here in California. Over 75%. Check out how wide KNX is on here. Check this out. It's like 200 kilohertz wide. Watch. Been unemployed. Been called work. And then been unemployed again. He says this shows a high degree of volatility. Runnick says employment should begin to stabilize coming up, especially to return to near normal in mid-June. More expert testimony in the murder trial against trying to see if radio disney is still on the air and i can't even tell because it's just one big smudge of stations totally interfered said the george Is this what, is this Radio Disney? Come on, ID, ID, ID. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew... Make delivery. Does it get one? Clinica. This wins. This in those countries. Okay, well, it, we'll start off. It gets an F for AM performance. An absolute F. 
I mean, I guess it picks up stations better than a crystal set, but that's about all I could say there. On when you are excited about happening in your life. Huh? Witnesses, what he's referring to primarily are those Old Testament saints uh, who've gone on before. And he says, we have this great cloud of witnesses. Not that they're up there. Please. Not up to the it's a new smart mask. Air filters, fans, Bluetooth, LEDs, noise canceling audio microphones, six hours of battery life, and earbud dogs. <laughs> it's called the Zuper Mask. That's what we need is a smart mask. I mean, hopefully, it has GPS and uh, tracking capability. Nothing says leave me With borderline playing in the background. You know, you can't beat that. A little Madonna. I don't know what you heard about me. The experience that's Sarkana. They did it. It was originally fought to donate. Okay, there, there's channel six. Series, in serio? Si, es en serio. Series, es una oportunidad. Of just use of force. That was my baby. Just a fun kind of a tax deduction. Hilarious. Restrictions apply. Canta con sus hijos mientras. So it does uh, 19 to 60 meters on shortwave. FM isn't bad. Uh, I give it maybe a, a B, B plus on FM. It's pretty good, actually. It's not, um, it's not quite the Panasonic 2200, but it's, it's not bad. Looks like the standby current is about 5 milliamps. And it'll drive some power. Cause, uh, let's see. Shortwave. Shortwave. Worthwhile. They're doing it, but you didn't know. That must be shortwave. Yeah, shortwave is absolutely useless. Shortwave is below an F. It's like, it even sounds like it's on FM. Sounds like it's decoding frequency modulation almost on, on shortwave. Right now, a 9:45. Perfect weather to go. 
이런 점을 저희들이 좀 주목을 해야 될것 같습니다. By the way, I purchased this radio. This is in no way sponsored uh, by anybody. I don't do that on this channel. 경기 부양에 나서면 보험에나 빠빠빠 로파가우파. Be tough now from the 105 up to Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. I don't have anything reported in lanes. That's just going to be a slow drive for you. Uh, if you're on the five. Archfit Skechers Union. That's with the FM antenna all the way down. You know, it gets K-Jazz with the FM antenna down. That's pretty damn good, actually. Maybe it's just designed to be used without an FM antenna, because they figure you're just going to break it off anyway. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds clean. It a good AFC. See, it gets a good good score on FM. Gets a really good score on FM. I'm impressed. This is a Sylvania and um, 60s, and this is made in Japan. And then well, casino must right now. But if you're an opera. So as, as you can hear, the new 5-core radio completely blows this thing away on FM, but this thing is going to blow that thing away on AM. I've been doing this now a long time. Joy and I have been doing this a long time to get you. Eighty eight. 88. Hi. Hi. And it... Mm. And to create a better picture of the homeless. Wow. Radio Disney is still there. The first time the information has been collected. See how, see how narrow KNX is on this? It doesn't run over the top of all the stations around it. David Southside, Chicago. Great to have you next in the program, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you for taking my call. They're still rerunning Rush. Uh, your comments about Boehner before, and I was just wondering, do you... So far away on Catalina Island. Um, you know, also, these older radios have the audio output transformers, which really limit the fidelity where the new one does not so anyway i think that's a pretty thorough review at least of the inside and my whole thing was just to see what does it look like what do the guts look like i don't know for for uh fm i give it a thumbs up when you, when you pull it out of the box, just rip the antenna off and throw it in the trash. Oh, also, also, um, there was the box came with nothing in it. There were no instructions, no warranty card that we're used to here. I mean, there's just none of that. And, of course, the exposed staples would probably never satisfy the Walmart shopper's discerning taste. The incomparable Earl Clue was Cece Bone from The Spice of Life.
Ahead of that, Thelonious Monk at the piano, Straight Note Chaser, his classic song from 1967. That's the title track from that album. And just ahead of that, Jennifer Keith and her quintet playing aboard the Queen Mary for this one. It was recorded live back in 2014 and a totally appropriate song for that evening on a slow boat to Long Beach. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, this song is called On a Slow Boat to China. I'm just having a little fun. On a Slow Boat to China. That's the song from Jennifer Keith and her quintet recorded live aboard the Queen Mary in Long Beach, California. And by the way, Long Beach is our home for KJAZ 88.1, a service of California State University, Long Beach. The KJAZ membership card is an I like KJAZ. I talk I talk positive about KJAZ. I think it's probably one of the best radio stations maybe in the world if you can if you're into the type of music, you know, no no top of the hour news breaks, no commercials. It's just music and these little PSA drops with live DJs. There's no no garbage. It's just music. service of Cal State Long Beach, KJAZ is your home for jazz and blues. KJAZ 88.1 Probably the most benign, unoffensive content out there. <laughs> 